Guys, if you have been involved in building automation and energy management for very long, you know the struggles there is in connecting to older devices. Uh, the N2 devices, for example, the Johnson Controls N2 devices, uh, those are pretty much going away. Uh, I know there are a lot of the individual controllers and components that are no longer available, and your only choice is to replace them, to upgrade them. However, there are sometimes issues that develop with these devices that can be repaired, or we may have spare parts laying around, you know, through renovations and that sort of thing. As, you know, as time has progressed, we've built up a supply. One of the struggles that we face, however, is as the computers that we use change, we often face a challenge of being able to connect to those, to those devices. And there are some ways that can be used to overcome some of those challenges. Currently, my uh, computer is a Windows 10 based machine. And it runs HVAC Pro as well as the GX9100 software. Uh, and the way that it must be set up to do that is the computer must have a 32-bit image. Now, there's ways that you can run emulators and that sort of things, but if you are facing this challenge and you have to go to a newer version of Windows, and Windows 10 being the option, what you can do for your machine is actually upgrade that machine to Windows 10, the 32-bit version. You will then be able to install some of the additional software that you need. One of the struggles that I had was the net frameware. Getting the correct version of net frameware on the machine was a little bit of a challenge. It actually had to be done going through the command prompt through DOS mode. Depending on your machine, depending on your organization, that may not be an issue for you. But that is something that you will need to be aware of. For mine, I actually had to have the file from the install image of course, we're running the Windows 10 Enterprise, and with that file going through DOS, and there's a few tutorials online that uh, go through that tell you how to do that. Once that software was installed, I was able to install the HVAC Pro and the GX9100, all the MS tools with no problem whatsoever once that was done. Uh, currently, the only struggle that I'm having is to be able to do pass-through with the HVAC Pro and with the GX9100 software. That's the only struggles that I'm currently having. Of course, the fallback on that is connecting directly to the controller. Uh, there are many devices out there. I'm going to roll in in just a minute a, a little bit of an example of some of the devices that are available to be able to connect the hardware with everything going to USB. A lot of your newer computers do not have the serial port on them. However, it is possible to buy a USB to serial port converter. And actually down in the description, I am going to put a link to Amazon where you can get one similar to the one that I use. There's several different ones on the market. This is just one that I found online. You can probably pick them up at your local office supply store as well, or click the link down below and you can order one through Amazon. Here is my USB to serial adapter. You can see it here, the uh, serial port on one end and the USB port on the other. Now, these devices will generally install basically on any COM port that is available on your machine. You can see here that I am running Windows 10 and one of the things you need to do to install this to make it work is to make sure that you set the device uh, to work on COM port 1 or 2 and you can right click your Windows, down your start menu and bring up your device manager and when you plug the device in, as I'll show you here, when I plug it in it will pop in on the system underneath the device manager. You can see here I plug it into a USB port just like that and then you can see that it will populate right there. And pay close attention to the COM port that it comes in on. It come in on COM port 9 on my particular machine. 
Now, that is going to create an issue with HVAC Pro as well as the GX9100 software. If you look to the software, if I just simply go to upload or download, you can see here that I only have a couple of options, COM port 1 or COM port 2. I do not have any others. If you try to upload or download through connecting uh, through your device and you do not have the correct COM port selected, it will give you a communication error. This is something that I learned from experience. Uh, the way that you can change this is very simple. You can see here, just right click the particular device, go into properties, and then go into port settings, click on the advanced tab, and here underneath this drop down, this is exactly what you need right here, this drop down, COM port number. You can see here it is COM port 9. I bring that up and I can then select a wide range of ports. You can see here one and two are up at the very top. I'm going to connect this to COM port one. And that is how we will configure our device. I have had no issues running this type of a, uh, a connection and it seems to work very well with both DX's as well as all of the N2 devices. Guys, as you saw in the video, I am running the uh, GX9100 software as well as HVAC Pro on my Windows 10 machine. Following these steps, you can set up the software or set up your hardware to communicate with the converter, with the USB to serial converter. You just got to remember to change it to the correct port. You know, that is a bit of a challenge. The older software only recognizes two ports when there are many more available on a lot of modern machines through the USB. Anyways, guys, hope you liked the video. I would appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up. And guys, also, if you are new to building automation, to energy management, check out my channel. I've got a lot of tutorials. I've got a lot of uh, videos that will explain some of the basics of the system, especially if you are an organization or a technician that uses a lot of the Johnson Control software. And, you know, there's a ton of tutorials that I have online for that. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Drop me any comments down below. Uh, let me know if you have any of these struggles. You know, I love to hear from you. Uh, just drop those in the comments down below. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.